What in the flaming <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> what have you made? <laughs> You've summoned a tower of death. <laughs> I can't go far with it because of the battery and the cliffs around, but... Well, here's the thing, though. You have definitely saved that configuration to memory. So let's have a... Oh, my God. You are the god of hellfire, and you have made fire. <laughs> what in the flaming hell? <laughs> Can I just... Yeah. Yeah, just have a look at that for a second. Yep, ship, there it is. <laughs> Oh. oh my Christ. <laughs> it's just a shame our battery limit's so low. I feel like we can change that. But I guess on that note, hey everyone, welcome back to Alice's tutorial on making death and destruction and doomsday weapons. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I'm kind of taking it back because I was not expecting that. Yeah. I just sat down thinking, okay, you know what? Let's just talk about recording, you know, and let's get ready to go. And then I see that. <laughs> I thought you had made an innocent little buggy, but I guess not. <laughs> My wife is scary at times. Oh, very scary. You've made a soldier's claymore, claymore, claymore. <laughs> You've made a soldier's claymore want to claymore. <laughs> How? Here's the thing, you are a very artistic person. It's gonna make me worry when you inevitably get the hang of this whole creation nonsense. And whenever we get a sufficient battery life. Well, I feel like when we approach the surface next, that's something I'm probably gonna focus on myself. Because I think I know how to do it. And here's the scary thing though, you are... You're gonna get more creative. Like, this is just the tip of the iceberg for you. <laughs> Hello, large po soul. That's actually a good point. What is it over there? Because that looks to be some kind of watchtower. Or a flux construct. Oh. Oh. That was scary as hell, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the big bad bosses. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's definitely added to the compendium for sure. <laughs> oh. oh my god. So you're gonna take on the cube boss? Mm. I don't know. <laughs> you haven't regrets, did you not realize what that was? Not really. Well, there you go. The construct is definitely the Q bosses. But it is right in front of a life route. It's level 3 though, so who knows. That's a lot of time bombs. Uh, I think I might get the gist of what that 
garage may want you to do. Deal with the construct. <laughs> yeah, take a lot of time bombs and blow them the hell up. God. Now that we have that auto build filter, I'm just thinking of all the things it wants from you. Like, you could have a surefire solution to every single enemy in your inventory right there. Yeah. It's like, what if I want just a massive laser to kill everything in sight? It's okay, just let me take off my shirt mid-climb. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're eating stamina mushrooms mid-climb. Yeah, because anyone can do that on Everest. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Yeah. Just, you're on like a 90 degree cliff and you just pause to eat a granola bar. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I need to get crisps, okay? <laughs> Or just do it on the snowy mountain and watch you eating the crisps. They're so loud it causes an avalanche. Oh, yeah. So everyone thinks you're dead now at this point, yeah? Yeah, Ling fell down the hole and just never came back. No, he wanted to follow Zelda, except, yeah, now they're both gone. The hero of Hyrule is gone. Yep. You have a variety of love candy in mine. Where souls reside. Well, I'm gonna be so surprised. What is the cap of the souls? Please tell me they go past 999. Alright, so never mind. Will this have better stuff than Daphne's? <laughs> That's what it is. I am making stuff up. Oh. Trousers of time! <laughs> Legends say these trousers were once worn by a hero who traveled through time. They were originally made by a people who made their home in the forest. So, so this is Ocarina of Time. You know, clearly. Yeah, I've seen screenshots of people sporting the Toon Link attire. Really? Yeah. Nice. I would love to see how... Because, again, unlike you, um, who when it comes to the outfits or whatnot, I'm going in blind on this one. I only know malicious ways to beat up Korok in-game. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, though, I guess it does bring up an interesting point regarding Wind Waker, seeing how you've uh, brought it up and... I can say Breath of the Wild is definitely a palette on all of the lessons that Zelda's been through over the years. I feel like Wind Waker was definitely the one in which they had to make a choice on art style. And just the amount of stories that have come out about Wind Waker over the years. So much so that uh, I think if I uh, remember right, the developers had to hide the art style from I think it was Shigeru Miyamoto pretty much up until late point of development. Wow. Yes, yeah, so much so that when he saw it, they had no choice but to carry on with it because they too assumed he wouldn't like the art style. And to be fair, that was pretty much Wind Waker's MO during its whole uh, release with it pretty much. Yeah, because of course everyone knows about how people weren't really a fan of the art style. I don't think you were when you first um, got interested in Zelda. Not really. <laughs> no, but now look, it's become one of the game's strongest points. That's what everyone loves it for. The reason why I bring this up is because it definitely brings up a point about this rat race that is the best graphics. Must you, though? <laughs> must you? Must you, Toe? <laughs> you have explored 
where are you regards to the map? Oh wow, you've hit the edge. I ran to the end of the world. <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet. You still got a bit of the world to go, but yeah, you're about there. <laughs> that was a Xenogears joke, though. Yes, I know. <laughs> are you expecting me to not know that joke? I named the story finale after that. <laughs> da. <laughs> da. <laughs> yeah, I think you're facing Gloom Mountain there. Don't know about you. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I can't do 90 degrees, my bad. Yeah, that's death in a hallway. I wouldn't go there. Death in a hallway? <laughs> well, it's nothing but gloom. It's gonna get you eventually. <sighs> there we go. Kara current. And by the way, can I say, getting up here was a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> For sure. Uh, but yeah, light it up. Definitely would appear some are more difficult to get to than others. And that's for goddamn sure. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to uh, get round a mountain. <laughs> you know, the simple things that people do. <laughs> now that we're here and we're ready to go. <laughs> Legs had to make sure he was avoiding the spiky things. Kind of cute though. The clan. They've made crude platforms for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Not expecting Link to know how to use it. No. They think it's a power exclusive to them. Well, guess what? Do bad for you. We know how to work it. Also, that guy, he thought he saw you and then quickly forgot about you. Yeah. Idiot. All right. So now the big question is, who is the main target for this one? Uh, I have to kill a guy on a boat. I'm going to assume you have to kill the guy on the car. I'm guessing. I don't know for sure. <laughs> you didn't even give him time to say, what was that? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to guess it's the guy in the plane then. <laughs> the worst part is, you just killed him and left. You didn't hijack his car or anything. <laughs> it's like, I killed you just because I could. Just because I wanted to. I've torn apart your staircase. Now what? Wait, so can you stick that back in to the ground then? Or can you just stick it anywhere? With the Pike of Death. Oh my god, you can. That's kind of awesome. Link, come on. Link. Link. Fine. <laughs> fine, fine. Don't use your arms or exercise. Just use your magical wrist powers. Fair enough. 
Now, if I had to hazard a guess, I would say there's one of those planes with the same lock symbol, if I remember right. Where is one of those planes? Yeah, I think it's probably that guy. Oh, I think you just threaded the needle. No. Oh. <laughs> I think you just threaded it. <laughs> Take his bananas, though. Right, now what schematical treasure is that lad dropped? I claim this base in the name of the Anteater. The Anteater of Light. <laughs> Who has a cool shirt. So we have Zony Charge. Yep. And what schematic have we got? Come on, show us the goods. We have the staircase. <laughs> We unlocked the staircase! <laughs> <laughs> we Yiga Clan, we know how to make stairs. <laughs> this I think Koga's probably incredibly proud of that one. Ah yes, we shall bring back the Demon King with the power of stairs. <laughs> if the Demon King ever wanted to take his rage out on the world, we shall make a stairway to heaven. That way he can kill God. In our mind. The natural. I try to say, how can I reach it? Maybe I should try the surface first. Oh! If I remember right, I feel that there was some similar man made ruins on the surface called Lome or something. Called Let's go. That's Labyrinth. Wait, what was that? There's something odd about the wall stretching from the wall from the floor to the ceiling. It looks artificial, not natural at all. There's no entrance, and I can't blast my way through. I'm sure there's some way to kind of treasure inside. So there's a wall of some kind we can't climb up. Oh, so we have to get down there through the surface. I think so, yeah. Huh. Makes sense. All right. Well, that adds another wrinkle of things to find in the depths. They all interconnect. Thank you, Yiga <laughs> Clan member, for the tip. <laughs> oh, damn it, we gave Link a hand. Oh, who left these notes here? <laughs> what do y'all do with Bobby Koga? Yeah. I keep it just so I do not forget. He says glory to himself. <laughs> yes. He is the type of person who's like, yes, I did it, high five! And there's no one around him to just high five himself. <laughs> uh, yeah! He puts his hands together. Well, a base infiltrated, and <laughs> so in this episode, we've got intel, blueprints, and trousers. <laughs> All in good time as well. There's a joke in there somewhere. Right, Link. Good balance. I'll give you that. Solid. Solid. This is like an implied platform challenge I didn't even know existed. Yeah. My god. Well, guys, I think on that one, I think we're going to end things off here. So, next time on Tears of the Kingdom, as that Yee Clan member goes in... For some reason, you were standing still and he still missed you. Yeah. I just want to point that out. Well, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hey, hey, buddy, you suck. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, Link. Don't you watch. Oh, Lord, howdy. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, man. One out of six shots, you finally got a shot. <laughs> One out of six is passing in some countries, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, 
in that case, guys, I feel like we'll see you next time. So, I think, based on that little intel, I think we might head back to the surface for a little bit. Not before I deal with whatever side quest is still down here. But until then, thank you for watching. If that's episode, then please be sure to like it. You win this time. Physics. There we go. But guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then you know what to do. And if you want to subscribe to see more, then that'll be all me. Subscribe to see more. And we'll see you next time. Until then, thank you for watching.